Opposition member in the Third House of Assembly, Honorable Andrew Foy, is not pleased with the lengthy delay to the question and answer segment for the sixth sitting of the House of Assembly, which began on January 25th. This comes after a motion tabled by Premier Dr. Orlando Smith at the start of the sixth sitting to have the order paper renumbered. Honorable Andrew Foy described the move as an abuse of power. A motion has been moved and seconded that the order paper be renumbered so that I... Um, Mayor, what's the reason um, for this shift in the question and answers uh, way down? Is there something urgent? Uh, I didn't know that we come back to this. Is, is there, could the Mayor tell me what's the reason for this? <coughs> Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I've had many discussions about the, uh, the order of the items on the other paper, about the need to have the some urgent matters of government is done urgently and in, in, in at the start of the meeting rather than late in the evening when people are tired and not able to concentrate. And uh, this is why, Madam Speaker, I am asking that the or the paper be numbered so that those matters can be dealt with first. Well, those are point of information, Madam Speaker. Is the Premier saying that questions? Uh, asking about the business of the people not important so we could do it when we are tired and don't have much energy? Is this what I'm understanding? Not at all, Madam Speaker. I'm just saying that I'd like to have those matters that the, that the government needs to have done, get them out of the way, and then we can sit down and deal with the questions. I have no, dif is, I have no difficulty providing answers. Madam Speaker, just for the record, I want to say that I see this as abuse of power. And I see this, Madam Speaker, as not democratic, just for the record. Speaker Honorable Ingrid Moses supported the move by the Premier, citing the urgency of having bills such as the BVI Business Companies Amendment Act 2016 passed in the House of Assembly. I would point out to the Honorable Members as well, there are a number of financial services um, bills on the agenda, including one that has to go through all three phases considering the pressing urgency of the bill. However, after lengthy debates on the various bills tabled for amendments, the question and answer segment is not expected to come until February 1st when the sixth sitting of the House of Assembly resumes. Meanwhile, the BVI Business Companies Amendment Act 2016 and the Legal Profession Amendment Act 2015 were passed in the Assembly with amendments.